All right, welcome to Right On with John Crane, and I am working away here in the shop today and uh, doing a little work on the Bridgeport Mill. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm up to today. Uh, this is a job that I'm doing for a company, Blackmouth Design. They're on Bainbridge Island here, and they make all kinds of uh, cool stuff. And uh, this product right here is a cast brass door handle that is in the shape of a fly fishing pole here. And uh, these things are, are just amazing, really cool here. So my job uh, on these here today is to uh, face these off, drill and tap these two stems. So this is uh, the door handle here, right? And we'll get a uh, bolt through the back here to hold this to the door. So uh, I'll bring you over to the Bridgeport Mill and I'll show you what I'm up to. All right, I'm over here at the Bridgeport Mill. And what the setup that I got going here is, is I've got two vices here on the table and uh, they're right in line with each other and at the same height. I don't have two identical vices, but I have this one blocked up to the same height here. And that enables me just to drop this guy right in here. And I have a little uh, stop set up right here. I'll bring you in a little closer. All right, so I just dropped this in here into these two vices here, right? And I got a little end stop set up here that I bump this into, right? And uh, that's just a nice reference that all these turn out the same, right? And then I'm dropping in two V blocks right here, right? And this is gonna hold this perfectly straight up and down there. I'm just making sure this is all the way down into the vise and I'm tucking this against that stop and it's all the way down in this vise over here. Sometimes nice even to come in, give it a little tap, make sure that's seated down in there and tighten this up. Tighten up this little vise over here. Right, this old uh, little brown and sharp vise here that was my grandfather's there and uh, still using this thing pretty often. Right, now the job is to come in and face these off. And here's a view just from uh, this end of the setup here, right, with the stop. Got the two V blocks holding that perfectly straight right there and then also centered. So I got this all dialed in with the DRO there, center line on these guys right here. And uh, so I'm just gonna come in and face these off with this end mill. All right, my first step is to come across with this face mill here and just face this off and face this off and get these two stems here in the same plane. And so I'm gonna come down and just take about 10 thousandths off each pass. And uh, I got this face mill here running at about 800 RPM there. And uh, there's a lot of speed changes in this operation, doing the face milling and then switching to drilling and then tapping here, as I'll show you in a minute. So at first here, I'm just gonna turn this on, uh, raise up the table and take a light pass. And you can see as I come across here, I can tell that my head has to be uh, trammed in a little bit there. I think I'm skimming like a, another thousandth or something off here on the back end. Now I'll come right across to this one. Sometimes I've been milling these and these are a little higher. I got to drop the table down so I don't take as big of a cut. We'll see how this one goes. Right, that's a little bit high there. All right now I'm just gonna raise up the table uh, 10 thousandths at a time here, 10 to 15.
All right, now I'm gonna drop this table down here and change out this cutter here to the Albrick chuck. And now I'll move this uh, drill bit here over to zero here on the DRO there. All right, just putting a little uh, rapid tap on here. And I got the bridge port here set to a uh, depth stop here. I'm going to move the table over to the next one. All right, for the tap here, I'm going to put this into low range here. Right, and then now I'm going to drop the speed down to as slow as the machine goes. <clears throat> I'll put a little rapid tap right here on the hole and on the tap. Right, now I'm using a spiral fluted tap here, and these are great for uh, power tapping. All right, and now I'll just lower this down. until that catches. And the machine just takes it right on down. The tap pulls it right on in there. Go down to right about there, turn it off, and now we'll back it back out. Just like that, give it a little blow. <clears throat> and there we go. We'll pop this out of the vise and uh, put the next one in. Yeah, look at these uh, chips here. This is where they get uh, the chips that go into uh, Goldschlager there. All right, I've been working on this job and I got maybe a half a dozen of these uh, door handles done here. And uh, I always love setting up these jobs and figuring out uh, you know, the setup and the jigs and the fixtures and uh, how to make these jobs go as smooth as possible. So now that I'm uh, uh, six pieces deep into the job here, 
Now I figure that the way I'm gonna approach this here is to come in, face off this little stub out here, and then face off this one, right, to finish tight there. And I'm just gonna interchange all the handles, do all the facing, and then I'll put them back into the machine and I'll do the, uh, the drilling and the tapping there. And uh, that seems like that's gonna be the fastest method rather than uh, lowering and raising the table and doing the tool changes here. You know, I did a couple of them like that in the beginning and then uh, you know, now I've changed it up and uh, you know, each job you work on, you, know, you figure out the fastest route once you get familiar uh, with what the job is there. So I just, uh, I think it's a lot of fun and uh, I don't know, I always just uh, really appreciate that process there. I'm just figuring out good, fast ways uh, to get jobs done. Oh yeah, I'm oh, yeah. bringing in the big tuna here. Ah, right on, right on. Well, that was a good hustle here in the shop on these uh, brass door handles here. And these things are just amazing. What an awesome handle to have for a door there. And uh, right, got the whole shop covered in the, uh, the Goldschlager dust here under my boots. Uh, I'll have to break out the vacuum there and get this place all cleaned up there. But these fishing pole handles now, these door handles, these will go over to a fella uh, by the name of John Kuzma there, who's a specialist at uh, putting a patina on here. He'll polish this up and he'll darken these, blacken these, give them that oil rub bronze look right there and uh, just make these things look dynamite. So as soon as these get finished, I'll fill you in with some pictures there, maybe a little footage of uh, John Kuzma there putting the, uh, the finish on these and you guys can see the final product there. So, and uh, if you'd like to purchase these, you can go over to blackmouthdesign.com. They're on their store there. And uh, right, just a, an awesome product right here. So I'm happy to be uh, working on this project with them. And uh, yeah, if you want to head over to my website there too, uh, right on with johncrane.com, uh, I have a list of all the tools that I keep in my tool bag there. And it's just a way of supporting the channel there. If you uh, click on the link there, it's just a portal for Amazon there, but then uh, each purchase you make through there, then I get a few cents and it helps support the channel. So if you wanna help out the channel in any way like that, that would be great. So I hope you guys are doing great and I will see you all soon. All right, right on.